Hey there, welcome to the Call of Cinema. My name is Aaron, and it's actually raining in Morocco. Can you believe that? We got rain. So, because I am traveling on my birthday, we are doing the birthday stream today, as opposed to when my birthday is on March 31st. We are going to be looking at some neat stuff here today. We're going to be looking at some stuff that you can't see elsewhere, some stuff that you definitely won't see on an English-speaking channel most of the time. That is some... Uh, heresy exclusive stuff. We're going to be looking back. Hey there, George. Thank you for coming in, man. At some of my early videos and reacting to some of that. Thank you, Maddie, man. Happy, oh, by the way, happy late birthday, belated birthday to you, which I know I said earlier, but still. Um, I want to thank everybody that has donated so far. And uh, if you want to do so, you can use the buy me a coffee donation or super chat link. I will be putting them up throughout the video. I'll be shilling like crazy because this is my first time in Paris. Uh, thank you so much, Yara. and I am hoping to bring back a lot of stuff that I can sh bring, put show on the channel, and the more that I can show, the more, you know, I, I, I can dive into with you guys. Uh, before I do that, there has been a big thing going on in my Patreon, and I have to thank you guys for the, for the support and the stuff you've given into it. So for those that don't know, I have a Patreon, and I recently did a video on 10 of my favorite, like, box sets, important box sets. So I decided I was, wasn't just going to do uh, that. I was going to do a poll on my Patreon, letting people choose like what the top two vote getters would decide which ones I was going to I was going to do videos, going to do a video for, uh, kind of do a deep dive for. And at that point, I also got the idea of like to go into franchises as well and to look into a franchise. So what I've done is I put a second poll on there, and because uh, I'm going to be deep diving. Uh, with some friends of mine into a, uh, and they know they are, into a, into like some franchises as well. Uh, so I wanted to see what you guys wanted me to vote for, what wanted me to do. So what I did is uh, I put up a poll. And this is my uh, Patreon right here. So as you can see right now in the franchise poll, which everybody can vote on, whether you're a uh, like a paid Patreon member or not, this is the, the one poll that everybody can vote on. Uh, and it's the franchise poll. And right now, Children of the Corn is leading the pack as what people want to uh, to me to dive into the most. Tied for second place is Phantasm and Hellraiser. We got Hatchet and Witchcraft tying for third, and Pup Master and Sorority House Massacre. Uh, well, they ain't getting any votes. Uh, what surprised me? Oh, this doesn't surprise me. I was really expecting Children of the Corn to do well because their more recent Children of the Corn film that came out was actually decent. And uh, it gives people like kind of a bit of a, a want to look back into it. Now, this one here is a Patreon exclusive poll, the second one. Uh, and, I, and I did 10 box sets. And I said, okay, well, what do you want me to look at? Which, which box sets interest you the most to see me deep dive into? And it wasn't what I thought. Like, it, it really, really wasn't what I thought. So... There were 10 choices, Iconic Films of the 80s and 90s, Alfred Hitchcock Masterpiece Collection, the Jacques Demy Collection, Umberto Lindsay Carol Baker Jallo Collection, the Al Amson Masterpiece Collection, the Friday 13th Collection, the Angel Trilogy, the Simbad Collection, Tintel Brass Maestro, Maestro, Maestro of Erotic Cinema, and the Russ Meyer Collection. Somebody has the Tiny Tim thumbnail? That'd be kind of cool. <clears throat> Uh, well, there was somebody here that had like one of those things. Okay, so what I managed to, uh, what surprised me is people are voting for Alfred Hitchcock and uh, Friday 13th, which to me, I thought, okay, those aren't going to get voted for because they're like, you know, they're givens, right? They're like evergreen. They're always going to get talked about. <clears throat> so I expected the Russ Meyer collection would totally like win over uh, with everybody. Uh, it is, oh, no, it's Oliver. Uh, I thought I thought it was funny. <laughs> uh, so I I'm doing like it's my birthday stream, so I'm doing like the whole kind of a uh, you know, oh uh, you want to donate that type of thing, and I'm doing the shilling portion of it. Um, so uh, I thought that the kind of the funniest way to do that uh, was to do the the Oliver scene, you know, from Oliver. Please, sir, may I have some more? Uh, that. <clears throat> Anyway, that's my weird sense of humor. <laughs> uh, just so you know. 
I did see the Moon Knight Steel, but we're going to be looking at that when we go to Melina. Exactly. Um, so for those that know, I'm, I've got a weird sense of humor. And uh, more? You want more, boy? Uh, man, that almost came across as like a Southern thing. But not only will we be looking at this and, and that, but we are actually going to be looking at a couple of my early YouTube videos where I am going to be reacting uh, to uh, some of these cringeworthy releases. Uh, we are going to go to Meta Luna and look at, see what there you can see the Moon Knight Steelbook right there. It looks really sexy. Uh, wait a second. They have new stuff in the, uh, in the use section. Let's check this out real quickly. And let's see it. Oh. Oh, I gotta be careful. Uh, my dad has this one. Uh, this like this edition too. Uh, so for those who don't know, massive, massive Edwick Fenich, Edwick Fenich fan, right here. Uh, this guy right here, uh, her biggest fan. Um, and Top Sensation, it's not a Jello. It, it's it's a different uh, one that she that she did and this is a really nice addition uh naughty naughty right uh gotta be careful i gotta be careful when i touch it when i hit on this god i hope this is still there when i go there so this is just a dvd edition but it's a really sexy dvd edition i know because my dad has it and uh it is so nice because that's german subtitle as english subtitles yeah it's a german release that's what my dad has my dad's here right now dad you know this one uh it's got a gorgeous like slip kind of like Digi book box tipped digi box to it. Um, it's a really good edition. If you want to see Edward Edward Fennec at her sexiest, uh, yeah, this my friends, this is it. We're gonna be looking into album comics as well as pop comics. Uh, we're gonna be look, we're gonna be talking about the five dollar steel books that have been coming out uh from uh recently, and uh, the better the history. Of the channel as well. So that's French, Canadian, VHS, DVDs, and Blu-ray titles only present in, in Quebec or Canada. Do you hear? Yes, I, I have a few of them in my collection, actually. I used to go to Montreal for the for the Comic-Con, like horror convention. Uh, and uh, I used to stay at, uh, my sister and I used to live at the time. And we'd stay at the at her her place at the Plateau, which is a great area. So my original name, this is called Call to Cinema right now. It wasn't the original name of my channel. See, it just it was, I had first had my name. After a while, but the original name of my channel, and I thought I'd put on a hat for a second to to do this. And as I do that, I'm going to do the one of many, many, many like link things that I'm going to put on here for to shill out. If you want to help donate for my birthday thing, right here, we're gonna put right there. Um, my original title for my channel was Movies on the Rock. So. Tell me what you think of that. If you if you like that title or not. So Movies on the Rock was the original title of my channel, but YouTube had a strong pushback around at a certain point, asking people to use their names rather than brands. If you like to use donate link, we also have buy me coffee. There you go. <laughs> I'll be putting these up there in the video. Uh And that was my original channel name, was Movies on the Rock. The strongly suggested that we change it to keep our channel going. Um, so we changed it, and I became just my my name, uh, which is kind of boring, right? But my mom got me this when last time I was in Canada, and I thought I'd be able to wear this for videos. And I thought specifically this would be great for this type of video. Now, over the years, I've gotten to do go different places. I live in Morocco. I used to live in Canada. Um, one year, I have to say thanks to some great donations from some backers and stuff like that. And uh, this was pre-Patreon. I was I went was able to go movie hunting in the great area of London. Yes, yes, I am wearing the Deer Sucker hat, and yes, I did buy this at the Sherlock Holmes. Museum on Baker Street in London. Uh, if you ever get a chance to go there, do so. It's really cool. And who doesn't want to have a nice deer soccer hat, right? And as we talk about this, 
I got to ask you a question. Who's heard about the steelbooks that have been coming out to, in Walmart? So Milo Media did a video recently that he found the steelbook section in Walmart, which I told you guys four months about, ago that there was a steelbook section coming to Walmart and to start watching out for them. Uh, not going to say I told you so. Yes, I am. I just did it. I told you so. <laughs> but here's the thing. Best Buy has sold all their out stock. They're, they don't sell steelbooks anymore. They don't sell movies at all. No physical media, right? Who bought that stock? Well, a lot of that went to Walmart. What does that mean for collectors? That means you can go. It was supposed to be on April 2nd. But you can go. Starting. Now, for a lot of places, go to your local Walmart, look around, check the dump bins if they got the dump bins there as well, by the way. Because what's happening is Walmart is, a king, is taking a Best Buy steelbook, not just steelbooks. I'm, so we're not talking like DVD book, steelbooks. We're talking about 4K and Blu ray steelbooks. 4K steelbooks. I mean, like, so, rec room for a freaking dream. For on Steelbook, $5. It's been super expensive, right? And your local Walmart dump bins. If you're in Canada and you show up there, then they're probably going to be about 10, you know, adjust it accordingly, depending on where you're in. But in in the in the United States, I'd, Archie Goodwin. What about Archie Goodwin? I, I'm very familiar with Archie Goodwin, but I don't know if anything recent. Uh, did he pass away? It, it's insane. I mean, uh, there's a ton of videos online right now uh, talking about it and like doing the, like hauntings and unboxings and stuff like that. So to dive back to an earlier video. I, hey, sweetie. I got the kitty cats over. Want to see my cats? Um, so uh, we have seven now, by the way. We just rescued another one uh, who we call Pixie Oreo. And she's tiny and adorable, and they're terrified of her right now. So hold on a second. So right there is uh that's Bandit or Bandito. And this one over here is Ollie. Ollie used to be one of the smaller cats. Now he's the biggest one. But he's very much a gentle giant. Um my dream if I could do it over anything else would be like to have like uh, a large area, like maybe like a big area that I, that I like in the city or somewhere just outside and uh i have enough like mula to go out and rescue uh as many cats as i possibly can and so that they could have a nice area where they could actually be be comfortable and and live and uh and just have a have a good life because i see so many cats outside um i have seven cats here inside but every night i go outdoors and i where the street cats are at i've bought these Kind of like uh, we bought these ceramic uh, huge dishes, and we go out and we uh, feed street cats every night out on, this, out on the street here because I love animals, uh, and that's uh, that's my thing. And how can you not? Right? Look, look at those. Look at they're adorable. Now, that being said, let's let's just say let's see if I can if, if it's if it's look at this. Let's see if you can see it beyond all the hair. Maybe you can't. Because getting burned. But there, see that scratch? So I was sleeping, right? I was sleeping, and um, and Goose was really, really uh, sweet, but doesn't know how to like control his, his claws sometimes. He was pawing up at me. <laughs> and uh, I hear, th I feel this like, just like deep <laughs> scratch on my arm. And because like I barely wake up when I want to go to sleep. A and, uh, <laughs> And, uh, and and it's Goose. And he's looking at me with like these big eyes. And I can't be mad, right? Because, you know, I'm, here I am, I'm bleeding. <laughs> I guess I'll over. Look at my arm right there, too. Or the sewer. Pixie got me. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they're uh, they're not quite sure of them yet. What I thought we'd, we'd do today is uh, I'm going to let you guys, like, like, make decisions and stuff when it comes to this. Um... 
and you know, and all in all, hopefully we'll get some donations here for the channel for this thing. But I just want you guys to have fun. Uh, that's that's the main thing. That's my main purpose on this channel. Um, if you guys want to donate and stuff, want to help the channel, I, I love it. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, you Patreon members literally kept the lights on for the for the stream yard because we had some issues with uh, with getting money across Canada uh, to pay for stream yard this month. So uh, the Patreon money that, that comes in at the beginning of the month is literally going to save my stream yard um, because I we thought it was going to get canceled. Actually, behind me, that's movies. Uh, now, that being said, hold on. So, that's a lot of comics. And wool. <laughs> I am a comic collector, too. I will be looking to get some omnibus as well. I'm in, in Paris as well. Uh, so I thought we were going to look at some, we're going to talk about steelbook stuff. I got your, your thoughts on that. Uh, I do have omnibuses downstairs. I got like over, uh, I got over 70 in my, uh, in my collection. It's only a small collection, right? No, compared to a lot of people you see online. Um, but, uh, sorry. I may come in and out a couple of times because it's raining here. So I do apologize if that does happen, like have, you know, a little bit of patience with me and have faith because I'm doing it from upstairs. Um, but what I want to check, hopefully we get Malcolm in here as well, but he's uh, he's been busy uh, today, like doing some stuff. So because uh, we're we're actually fil filming a uh, a podcast later on for the uh, for the no name for no name podcast. I'm looking at some of this other stuff. I can't show you guys yet what I'm looking at. Just just. <laughs> Do you have the collection? I've got the first three of the Forgotten Jolly collection. I need to get the other ones as well. Uh, I've seen them all. I'm a massive Jolly fan. Um, how massive? Well, let's watch a couple minutes. Of this. See if this comes through. We're live. And today, we're talking Jello. Jello. So yeah, I, I do kind of dig that opening. I'm not gonna lie. What do you think, guys? Um, did that when I was in uh, in North Sydney. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing my strange vice. Uh, no, no, the uh, all the colors of all the colors of dark. All, all the colors of dark shirt uh, there. I don't have the strange vice Mrs. Ward shirt. Uh, that would be a lie. But um, and you can see in the background there was my movie library setup when I was in North Sydney. I had a room for my films and another room. For my uh, for my TV stuff. Now, uh, update on things right now. Like things have been like at the farm have been kind of packed away and stuff like that. But my um, in laws over there uh, have actually been putting together some shelving in a in our room over there at the farm for us. Uh, so I will be shooting some videos live over there in a brand new movie library uh, that is stuff that. You haven't seen it in ages because it's stuff that have been packed away uh, at the at the farm. So uh, there's a lot of stuff, and if we can manage to do to get enough signal, get alive over there as well, it would be amazing to do something like that and to show you guys that as well. Uh, we're gonna be looking through a lot of this stuff throughout these uh, videos, looking at the uh, the different openings, the different things, the different parts of these uh, videos. As you can see, right here is early on, like these like North Sydney videos where I'm doing this right here. Look like I'm I got this stop looking like a bit changed into Superman here. Uh, you can see pretty clearly that uh, at that point, the Russ Meyer box set was always in the background. Uh, it was an Easter egg that I had for a lot of my viewers. 
Squeegee also had that famous photo of Boris Karloff as Frank sign on the wall that Jerry Garcia recreated in a photo she was a magician. It is so cool. Uh, I, I love that, uh, actually. But I thought it'd be fun. You missed the room with the... It, it was such a fun room. And then... And was not the earliest one that I did. Like I'll be showing you, like the some other movie. You'll see some other movie areas as well as we go through some of this today. Because I thought it'd be fun to like take a couple of minutes and uh, and look at uh, at some of these here releases. So I'm not going to go too far in this one, but you'll be able to see that I actually did talk a lot about the Jello stuff here. I think I have more hair here too, by the way. Just saying. People go into expecting something different. Let's see if we can uh, see I'll, I'll any of your names here. So I'm just going to uh, go through a few different jellos, uh, and I'm not going to go in a particular order. Uh, but I'm, uh, but these are ones that I do think that uh, that should be in everybody's collection. And uh, and top sensation, I think it was top sensation. Um, there we go. So I'm mentioning top sensation right there. Uh, how like uh, ironic is it that? I literally just found an addition to Top Sensation, Meta Luna, which is definitely going to be sold out by the time I get there, by the way, guys. Uh, and I just opened up this video. Wasn't done on purpose. Wasn't something that I uh, that I planned. And uh, let's see if it's sold out yet. Not sold out yet. And bam, just like that, you know, Top Sensation is right there. It's, it's being talked about my video. You can see I went through like a ton of different releases. This is this is what we call the uh, George knows what this. Uh, right here is the Arrow Video uh, window box. So before Arrow Video became as popular like across the world as they are right now, they're big in the UK. And uh, what they did was they had the they did these window boxes. So it was a uh, a cardboard case with uh, that was translucent on the front, and there on the inside of it, you there was like four different. The two artworks on the outside and two artwork on the inside, uh, like insert sleeve. So you could choose from one of like uh, four different artworks to put on the outside. No times when he came to your live streams. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. George has already given a very donation, a very generous birthday donation. I want to thank him so much for that. Do I look like I've got more hair here, guys? I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting an existential crisis over the fact that I look like I have more hair <laughs> in this video. It's, it's, it's kind of freaking me out. But that's not the earliest, like, we're going to be going with this type of stuff. Because here's the thing. Let's do some. Let's go to oldest for a second. Let's go to oldest videos. Let's look at something. One of my very first videos. I think this, was, this one here was probably shot on an iPhone 4. Uh, and I don't even know if we had openings at this point. Uh, so, all right. So hopefully this is going to work well here. This is my first time trying it down in the new movie library, and it's my first time really uh, no, no, this going is North Sydney. for this any is length not... of time talking uh, live on here. So we're going to try. This here is the very first video that started this whole like series of live streams that i do right now hey there alan welcome man before i became like pretty much known for the live stream thing this is it like right here and uh five years ago is when i started doing these like kind of big live streams um i definitely have more hair i'm i am feeling a little subconscious you can see the movie library there in the background So that was definitely not the oldest uh, because that's only five years ago. And I got videos that are way older than five years. Uh, so let's go to most popular. 
and that's when we should see stuff going. I wonder. Oh, they, they would have. Well, they've gotten rid of stuff over over five years old. Have they done that? I'm seeing stuff from three years ago, five, four years ago, five. Let's see. So I did a series of reviewed and ranked, which I used to do. Uh, Hi there, and welcome to Tuesday Review Say. And this is the second in my review series that I'm doing. And again, today we are doing something. This was done in Bollinger. This is before I'd moved. Hey there, Simone. Welcome, man. Hey, Mike. Welcome, dude. Um, this is before I'd moved out to North Sydney. Uh, our internet wasn't the greatest. So I'd the videos that I made at this point were a bit shorter, had a bit more of a beard at, at, uh, at that period in time. You can see this. This was my display case that I had back there. I had the Frankenstein thing in the background right there as well. Um, we're looking there at what was coming out. That was when the uh, My Dear Killer, the, I think it was Volume 2 or Volume 3. Which one was it? Volume 2 was coming out from uh, from Vinegar Syndrome. Um, such a such a cool release. Um, oh, I got to do my thing again, don't I? Don't I? I promise you I'd do it. All right. If you want to help out the channel, feel free to help out through that donation link there. You can even like go to the link. Put in your donation, decide how you want your donation to come show across. It's actually kind of cool the way they do it. And we got the buy me a coffee there as well. So if you want to do that, that's uh that's there, that's there too. So uh there you go, guys. Older videos in the secret TV room. Remember that? Yes, I had a uh and I still have it. Uh the uh the portal gun from Rick and Morty. And I would use that sometimes to let people know I was gonna do a video. So I'm not finding videos older than than five years ago. I'm actually kind of I'm I'm getting nervous here, guys. So let's go here. You can see my latest video. If you haven't seen my criteria announcements or my diving to the vinegar syndrome sale, or me looking thoughts on the minimalist collection, which was actually a favorite of mine, uh, that actually got a way more views than I thought it was going to. I am nervous. I'm not seeing th things that are older than eight than eight years than five years old. Oh no! Okay, here we go, guys. I was freaking out. Why is this still up here? Okay. How old are these here? This is my very first video. Still doesn't like. Three. Happy Halloween. Well, we're getting closer. This is going to be a bit of an unboxing of Screen Ultimate Collection. Anyway, before I do that, uh, Zellers, Halloween selection is really good and really cheap. So, there you go. Check it out. $4.99. I was super nervous at this point, guys. Really beat your collection. Like, Notice there's a Jamie Blanks like movie there. right there in my very first video, yeah, Stormwater. Right. Okay. This is my very first unboxing. Scream. First things first, the Blu ray collection. There is like a DVD collection. Shot on iPhone 4, by the way, for those that are unaware. Shame, I'll, get, I'll definitely get to shame you, Screen Factory. Uh, it is. It's so good, though. First things first, this here. Like the last Let's just time. dive this in a little bit farther so you guys can see. I still have this mask, and I use this in, in a lot of my videos. This is the screen mask. It's way more high quality than the screen mask that comes with the actual like uh, screen, like the. Or, let's try it out and see if this is an actual full size. He just announced that Neb Campbell's like signed up for the new movie, by the way. Okay. Full size mask. Hello, Sydney. Did do if you made it set with screen collection. Well, this has screen one. It 
blows my mind that uh, I started shooting videos on an iPhone 4 and like in that mode, in that, in that aspect. <laughs> um, sounds more scary. Uh, your voice sounds more scared. I definitely was. This is my first video, man. Um, I didn't expect anybody to see it. I expect just my family to maybe see the video. I did comic book reviews. I did beer reviews for crying out loud, guys. I wore, and some people will remember this. Like here's here's a video. It's only got thirty views. This is the most uh, unboxing of my PlayStation Three. And uh, Crystal White Edition. As you can see, I'm. Hi there. I'm super he, stoked for this one. This is going to be a very different type of unboxing. For even me. then. I uh, just traded I was in going some into stuff the games. They had a great deal on there. So uh, today I'm unboxing uh, the deal I got there, which was the new uh, Crystal White PlayStation uh, uh, Bundle Limited Edition. I actually hate that edition of the PlayStation because I really hated that version of the uh, Shame on You Scream Factory. This is pro this 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 is this is well known. Uh, do I have the same? I don't. I wish I did, man. Uh, I got a ton of hats going out. So this one here, I was really upset. And, and happy belated Canada Day. Notice the angle. Today, but I decided to. Uh, uh, this is before that, I realized. You know, that it's kind of rant time. You didn't need to see like I am a huge fan notes. of uh, <laughs> like a Clive Barker film called Nightbreed. I also read comic books, and uh, well, Scream Factory announced some news today. As you see, I need to get my Mountain Dew, like to really get on, at Let's my rage. So finally, we got some information on Nightbreed. Everybody's been excited, but finally seeing the director's cut, kind of an unrated cut of Nightbreed, kind of, kind of, but not really the Cabal cut, which is what they originally called it, but they kind of went back to details for it coming. And this too has the unrated director's cut on DVD. But of course, I guess some special feature no. details for it coming. I own this uh, edition, by the way, just so you know, be for those that have never seen this video. Break the price. However, <clears throat> This is where it gets good. Cream Factor has announced a limited edition. Only 5,000 numbered sets of these will be made. Can you remember 5,000 was like a limited edition? This one will have the unrated director's cut of the film on Blu ray. This two will have the 1990 R rated theatrical cut on Blu ray through some kind of licensing deal with Warner Brothers. Or you could go to Warner Brothers Archives and get it that way. Uh, and this three will be exclusive seems, to that seems set. Like it. A bonus Blu-ray disc pack with extras includes collector's booklet and a slipcase. Uh, basically, look how small my collection was back then. By the way, just look and see in the background. And I gotta say, uh, yeah, it's a really cool looking slipcase. But the slipcase, uh, it doesn't look like it's made out of gold. So I was mad. I was like super mad. Like, like. This is Canadian man, right? Canadian man. In American, seventy nine ninety seven. Eighty dollars. I mean, I recently ordered uh, the Halloween set. Well, I wouldn't blink now. React to the entire. <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to see the entirety of this video? I'm not sure if people stay for this one. Uh, well, we can do it. It's only a five minute video. Uh, what's eight minute video? Sorry, and uh, that mm -hmm. cost me about 140 change with my doctor or something background, which is pretty good considering it had well, my Sin Cara mask, 10 oh, Mysterio, and Mystico movies, not including the I still have that, like uh, alternate cuts and the TV versions, stuff like that. I'm fueling up a Mountain Dew, and guys. You Mountain Dew fueled my rage. I'm playing Mountain Dew. That's really good. Uh, I would have paid up to $200 for that. But I would not have paid 80 
box for uh, one copy. I bought of, two. Uh, I bought one, one for me, original. and I bought one for my my oldest daughter. For one copy of a uh, two, of not two. And uh, some people try to say, well, they've got a licensing deal and stuff like that. Well, nobody really passed them. I'm such a hypocrite. I'm sure some people say I am such a hypocrite hey, I, here. I want that uh theatrical cut, although I can get it elsewhere. But uh, uh it honestly it pisses me off. It's greed pure and simple. And my God. Am I the same person? They say, you know, this is me you just In case you're wondering, I'm blaming the do, Craig. I'm blaming uh, the do. <laughs> Go ahead and get yourself the normal edition of Nightbreed. Get yourself the uh, new Blu ray director's cut of Nightbreed on Screen Factor when it comes out for what 24 to 29 bucks, whatever you know, what it normally costs. Then go over to Amazon, pick up the Warner Archives. Put in what Nightbreed. Say. Or, or, it's not in Blu ray, but it's the uh, you'll see the archive collection that had the old. Same cover that you'll see from the uh, from the VHS in the day, and for nine ninety nine, an extra ten dollars. There, you've got yourself the director's cut of Nightbreed. You don't need to pay eighty dollars for it. You should never have to pay eighty dollars for one movie. He says there. Oh, what time changes! Oh, what time changes! <laughs> Not the same person now. You're more chillaxed. I, I don't know. I mean, I, back and forth, I do, man. Uh, like I think I was wrong there. Uh, that was not the best take on on it. Although you know, over seven, almost seven thousand people watched it. So they, you know, s some people either agreed or or kind of disagreed and wanted to rant about my take on it at the time. Um, I, 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 uh, if it's the right movie, like I will. I would definitely spend them. I bought two of them, man. Um, but it depends. Like it does make a difference. I've been spending this lately, so I haven't been around as much, but still support. Appreciate it, man. Always glad to see you come in. You are missed. Craig is like an OG guy. Um, he's been around for a long time. Yeah, this is probably one of the most popular videos. Uh, shame on you, Screen Factory. A lot of people found, a lot of you guys found me through that. But what is my most popular video? It was nine years ago and it was this one. On fans and uh, collectors. What's this was better? shot on an iMac. Carol? Or Screen Factory. And this um, arrow came out is St. John's. This is when I this is my upstairs apartment in St. John's. The last video you saw was in the downstairs apartment in St. John's. This is the upstairs apartment. Uh, you can see again, yet there's another iteration of the movie library right here. Uh, we bought this like a uh, lobster head, like foam head at uh, at Target when Target was in uh, in St. John's. first and actually i think it was 2010 the first i don't think i have the shirt in right i love both this movie both film companies have a division that deals with the genre between like the 80s like the video nasty i would say probably buying it um like i it's like twice like buying and then buying it for a birthday present um, which became one of my one of my daughter's favorite films. So, and I think it got her, like it's really started her into like the collection that she has today. First DVD, media DVD box set you bought and reviewed. We'll find out actually because we'll, as we go through some of this here. Now, I still stand by what I my feelings at the time were my feelings at the time. 
Um, but yeah, with over 11,000 views, this uh, here, like just 35 minute video on um, on Scream Factory and Vinegar Syndrome was uh, sorry, I have or, the, uh, Arrow Films DVD edition of Tenebrae, and apparently the original Blu ray edition of Tenebrae is actually is a lesser quality than the DVD edition, from what I'm told. And uh, they made a, a few mistakes like that up to one of their big marquee releases, which was Zombie Flesh Eaters. Now, I don't know if I just got a copy after that it was after it was fixed or what, but there were certain issues originally with Zombie Flesh Eaters. I didn't have any with mine, or I didn't notice any. And uh, By the way, let me know, because I'm kind of curious. Hey, Zami, welcome, man. Uh, hoping we get like get Malcolm in. He's, uh, he was busy on some stuff earlier, but we're trying to get him in here. Uh, remember the boxing of the shameless film, Rain Jacket? I do, actually. Uh, the uh, What was it called? The God, What did they call it over there? See, Malcolm will know this. But yeah, you're seeing all different backgrounds, all the places that I've that I've been. It's kind of fun to like just to like to look back. I've been on YouTube for for 12 years, guys. Uh, I'm gonna be 53 in a couple of days. I was. 41 when I started YouTube. I was 41 years old when I uh, when I started doing this uh, when I started doing this. It's not a slicker, but there's another word for it. Uh, a Mac. It's called a Mac uh, over in the like the yellow Mac edition. Here's one, you guys. Hey there, YouTube land. And if you watched my video on, uh, well, yesterday, then you'll probably remember that I uh, picked up the Beyond the Valley of the Dolls collection. Well, the set. Or, yeah, this Are you guys going to like this collection. one? Yeah, uh, two to set with uh, lobby cards. And during that video, I, I kind of, I guess, kind of offhandedly mentioned that. That's a Mac opening. I really like it, by the way. And that I, uh, got an incredible box set through arrow so i got asked a lot about the set so i plan to do another arrow retrospective an overview of my entire collection of arrow uh when i uh probably will win the next arrow i used to like this shirt a lot too by the way it's really comfortable sale comes up or when something big comes up but they have been out some decent stuff and uh, i no longer have it that, <laughs> so i figured i'd for you guys to get into and look at my russ meyer collection box set I'm not sure how many of you guys have this one, so you can let me know if you had it in the comment section down below, or uh, if you're something you'd be interested in getting down the road. Uh, Russ Meyer was a uh, director that mm -hmm. started out doing uh, he kind of went different in a different direction. A I didn't. Is there a thousand dollar plaque? Like if I didn't, I didn't get one. Or, or kind of like because the same. I know there's a hundred thousand dollar plaque. He kind of did the reverse of that. And there, and for if I ever get there, was we'll definitely really good that. at uh, what he did. Russ Meyer stuff is often thrown away. It's just ripe and exploitation, but it's really not. Some of this stuff is actually. I definitely stand by like damn good the the work that's been done on it. Uh, some of the stories are crazy and stuff like that, but the uh, camera work. Let's go right and just show you the set. Good price. Uh, pick it up. I picked up the uh, the special edition, the one that had the extra disc in it, and uh, looked at. So here we go. This is the uh, Russ Meyer collection. A lot of people love seeing the Russ Meyer collection in the background of some of my videos <laughs> for the longest time. I would get people that would DM me and uh, when it wasn't there and say, uh, what, where's the Russ Meyer collection? Does something happen to the Russ Meyer collection? Is the Russ Meyer collection going to be in your video? Um, see, I, I put this among the 10 of... Uh, Choices for my uh, for my poll. I thought everybody was going to vote for the Russ Meyer one. I was getting ready to watch like 
a boob extravaganza. Imagine my shock when I open up my poll today. And saw that Alfred Hitchcock and like Friday 13th were leading the pack. Russ Meyer didn't even get a vote. It, it kind of blew my mind. Oh, Maddie, you got to go to the poll, man. There's two polls up. There's, don't go now, watch the video. But there's two polls up. One man subscriber pack. Oh, I mean, sure got what? Man, get a man subscriber. That's a big deal, dude. When I got when I got twenty subscribers for me, it was a big deal. When I when I hit fifty, I'm like, okay, this is amazing. I want to hit a thousand. I thought, okay, this this can't be happening. This can't be me. Um, and then when I hit two thousand, I was like, yeah, this is pretty cool. When at three thousand, I'm like, I get maybe maybe I'm gonna hit that gonna hit that fabled ten thousand mark, right? Um, uh, for like somebody like a smaller YouTuber like me. And, you know, maybe one of these days, who knows? Um, but uh, all that being said, it's like if you're drawing boobs on the screen, <laughs> let's do it like that. If you're drawing boobs. If you like boobs, feel free to buy me a coffee or donate to the channel uh, for my birthday. Uh, But I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this here. I'll take one last look to check, see if we got Malcolm, see if Malcolm's going to be dropping by. I don't know if he's even seen that. Like, yeah, no, last time he said he was active 12 minutes ago. I'm going to actually send him a link, see if he wants to come in. This is actually, uh, this was a DVD set. Uh, it was from, uh, so when I started watching your live stream, everyone's talking about that set all the time. Yeah, <laughs> they were. Uh, that Arrow video put out right before they lost the rights. This is Skelter's favorite disc for his underlings. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. Um, you know how long expenses I've seen? I love Skeletor. But I kind of want to know. You boob. <laughs> yes, you're right, actually. Well, man, they've been working on it for a while, though. People are coming in right now just realizing, okay, there's boobs on the screen. There is a lot of movies on here, so we're going to look at them. Uh, look at them in depth a bit. And we can take more chances then. Look, well, thankfully that. those stars He's are there. Or, well, I'm probably <laughs> talking about it anyway. Apparently, I didn't understand auto First focus is, no, or song in the front of focus. Look at this box. Said it's a... Uh, Got 19 movies on uh, 13 discs. So, and let's see, one of the moral Mr. T's, which was his first uh, of this type, and Black Snake. Moral Mr. T is actually very common. So, when you take it in set like this, that's a good question, actually. I want to. <laughs> what do you miss about collecting back then? <clears throat> the newness of it, the freshness. Um... So many more people are into it. You could get it anywhere. It seemed like like the outlaw years, right? So collecting back then, like you think like now there's a streaming and all this type of stuff, but no, like you did you could go into like a shop, you go into a store that normally didn't you wouldn't know if, would carry movies, like a, like a grocery store, for instance, okay? And you could come out with like Something you didn't expect to find anywhere. I remember finding Return to Sleep with Camp. Not a good movie, but it was a hard find at the time. Um, at a 
my local uh, my local grocery store, uh, Dominion or Superstore, it's called in uh, in the rest of Canada. Um, but uh, Atlanta, in Atlanta, Canada, it was called uh, it's called Dominion in Newfoundland. But it was just that new that that like you're not knowing what you're going to get or where you're going to get it. It was just a, such a cool time. You could walk into like a, a video game store. Uh, you could walk into your EB Games. I guess called GameStop now, right? And there was a movie section, and you could be, bet, you know, you know, my grandparents had dollars to donuts, right? Uh, that you would find in that section, <clears throat> uh, like really cool stuff. I found, I remember finding, and I have not been able to find this since. Uh, that really horrible, like howling movie, the, number seven, right? With the, you know, with the bar and like kind of what the hell's called New Moon Rising, something like, like the one before they did the Twilight Time one. Oh, Dan is my childhood man. Which would have jams washing machines out of print, very extremely hard. I know. Which would have. I did have that set. You never know. You never know what you can find. I always say, George, never, never, like, don't look in the charity shops. Charity shops have been gold mines for me. I found out of print Scream Factory titles and Criterions and stuff at my local charity shops when I was in Canada. Um, I don't think I'm going to get to the, the flea market in Paris, one of the biggest flea markets in the world in Paris, um, this time around. But it's a place that I do want to go and make a video at. Because it is one of the biggest flea markets in the world. There's like, I think it's like seven hectares. Um, yeah, it's that big, man. So you never know what you're going to find. You could walk into a store and could have it. There's another edition of it, a kind of a, a bigger edition, but it had just like one less film. And I had a choice at the time. This was how like prevalent it was at this time. Like both editions were available when I when I chose. And by the end of the next week, like by the time I had this come, uh, they were out of print. This was no more. So I just really lucked out. Like really lucked out. I'd started. Uh, for those that like wonder how, uh, thrifting is the best man. Uh, I love thrifting. I love seeing your thrifting stuff. And you, it, Maddie's always sending me like pictures of his thrifting stuff, which is really cool. Um, I remember going. And like, and just, I started buying like Dr. Like stuff. That's why I went to Amazon UK, right? I started by Dr. True videos. And I was like going back to my youth to Dr. True and stuff like that. And I looked around cause I had to get like a certain amount for free shipping. And I picked up that. I said, I'm going to pick this up. That'd be fun. I'm better half that. Yeah. It's, well, you know, it's fun. It's harmless, cheesy. Um, and we uh we super we super enjoyed it. Uh, my better half to watch some of these with me. You know, that's not you normally her her bag, right? But uh, she watched it. Uh, she watched a few of these here. I'm not sure if I showed her all. I'm not sure if I showed her Vixen and and Cherry Hair and Raquel yet. Uh, those are two of my favorites. Uh, you know, in case you wondered, um, because it doesn't look like it's gonna get a video. Uh, people are voting for uh. Our fish cock in Friday 13. So that looks like the where that's that looks like where the video's going. Let's see a couple more minutes of this one before we go into the next the next one. We'll, we can discuss whatever you guys want to discuss. Uh as always, you know, it's my birthday stream. You wanna donate? There you go. Link right there. Link right there. Bam. You want to just watch the video and have some fun? Do that. That's what I'm here for. We're having to have fun. Comes in a book type format. And uh what we started with, we have Immortal double features. Among Mr. T's and Eve and the Handyman. I had to be very careful about everything of this stuff. So let's hope that they're, I'm, I am careful. I have to be very careful. I can show it. <laughs> so yeah, tell, uh, look, the there you go. Of the Naked West and uh, Black Snake. How about Western one that he did? I'm in sync with my former self. Europe in the Raw, which is uh, very kind of like a travel log, the nudity type stuff in there. Kind of one of the best uh, on this one here is this next double feature, and it has stories on it that are really actually good movies and it's lorna and mud honey mud honey is one that i didn't expect to be very good but it is really really good it was one that gets its own disc and uh rightfully so it's probably the most famous movie that uh, he ever did and it's called 
Bastard Pussycat Kill Kill. If you haven't heard of it, look it up. I mean, it's a yep. really different film. Uh, next up was Motor Psycho and Good Morning and Goodbye. It was lesser known ones. And uh, okay. I'm very careful. Topless, which I think is one that was only in this collection here. Uh, another one that was really good, uh, Cherry, Harry, and Raquel, which are really like Favorite of mine. And uh, Common Law Cabin. I don't remember Calm the Cabin yeah, at all. Pandora's Peaks and Finders Keepers, Lovers Weepers. And I, that's a, that one there is kind of a, Pandora's Peaks is about a girl, like a bigger breast girl. The most famous one that got me into oh, really cool liking uh, Russ Meyer and that made me think of him as more than just a cheesy, slacky director was a movie starring Eric and Gavin called Vixen. If you haven't seen it, you really should. Of course, he had another one called Super Vixens. He likes it's the Vixen well from He said it was a bit. Up, which uh, I'm pretty sure was written by Roger Ebert. And of course, the other uh -huh. one that I think was written by Ebert was Beneath the Valley of the Ultra Vixens. Now, uh, each of these movies have features and uh, a bunch of stuff with it. I'm so chill there. Like, um, way chiller than I expected to be. Uh, but uh, yeah, I guess it's that Canadian portion of me, right? Once you know, once movies on the rock, always movies on the rock. Big shout out again to George, to Malcolm, to Chad, to John, to Cinematech, the ones that like have have donated thus far to the uh, for the uh, for the videos. Uh, you're going to get stuff like you got certain things that are going to be mentioned with your name on it when it comes to the uh, when, it, when it comes to the the big trip. Let's go back and check out one more video. Let's go to oldest again. Blue Underground. A very early like work with the uh, with the with you know with the openings. Hi there. I've only got a handful of these. Got a lot more hair. Look at right now. I'm sure I got more in or somewhere, but uh, late at night and so if you can see right here, this is my the very first like place where I did videos at. This was my downstairs apartment in St. John's. You can see some St. John's artwork right there, like some local artwork. This was actually a very expensive piece because this isn't a print. It's a uh, actual, like, uh, you know, it's a painting. You can see, like, there's, like, aspects of it. It's kind of almost, like, three-dimensional. Um, so this was an original piece that we bought from the artist. It was a very popular artist by the name of Grump Grumpy Goat. It was a, it was a duel. And uh, we picked up a few of their prints before, but we actually went all out and bought one of their uh, one of their original pieces. If you look at the background here, you can see like a lot of di different stuff. Um, you can see uh, the exterminate, uh, the daylight kind of like cool mondo pop type uh, artwork again. You know, an original art piece that we got when we were in uh, in Montreal. There's a whole bunch of different releases in the background, which unfortunately you can't see uh, closely enough. But there's a ton of like really cool stuff there. Mean Guns. Oh, yeah, actually, I heard about that. Um, check out jumps. Lost Themes Volume 4 Noir. That'd be cool. That's going to be cool. But you can also tell I did no perspective uh, at this point. So a lot of these earlier videos, is, it's like you're looking at my nose. <laughs> Let's see. Even though I say, like, Like, here's one that I got. I think I gave my dad. It was like a. It's kind of comical the way that the name. So, it's Suspiria, right? <laughs> it says Sir General. Okay, so this is a four pack that my dad has. And uh, I don't think he'd ever get rid of it because it was one. It was a big one. Okay, justice. So, 
especially shades of the side again uh, so we got uh, some really good films here uh, this is uh, just franco all three of these are just franco have you ever like a canadian youtuber like uh and, and does a podcast too like on a podcast uh called moods so you have the z616 i think 616 um i remember he found me uh early on like what one of the kind of at the time one of the more popular youtubers that like that found me and it was through this video right here uh because of this film because because nobody has to add to talked about uh the 50 shades of the sod set and that's still something that i i kind of like proud myself in trying to do is to find stuff that i really really love but stuff that i love and like people just aren't talking about and hopefully uh by doing that like they're I'm opening up the door for somebody that like may not have been a fan of just Frank or may not have been a fan of these, these type of like the sod type films or a fan of like vinegar syndrome or anything like that. Um, or just as really mad as green factory. <laughs> so videos, it's got a popular. All right, this was my first move, like actual big movie library. Uh, this is a tour from from Bollinger, where the uh, where this was shot. I was extremely excited because of my first time not being in the apartment, actually being in a house. That is my my media library, my collection. I'm not showing right here. I had my retro like gaming thing, so I had a CRT TV, and I had some retro systems like hooked up uh, to here as well. Should catch a beer thin as you did back then, and your hair and your cheeks even thinner. <laughs> well, you know that comes with age, like the. Uh... But I do keep my, my. If you can notice, my beard is a lot thinner now than it was back then. I do like it when my beard is like, really trimmed. My better half likes it at around, at around this length. Well, let's look at my movie library down there because I think, in my opinion, I think it was probably my most impressive setup. That is my records, and underneath that, uh, the red little table there, I have like a couple extra like plug and play systems, uh, an Atari, and a Genesis because I like the kind of retro gaming myself as well. I'm very much a black t-shirt guy, by the way. Which you don't see much on Jam because I wear a lot of geek t-shirts and stuff like that. I wear a lot of shirts and black t-shirts. Very proud that it took me a long time to do. So without further ado, I didn't finish. So here we are. So here we go. We're going to go into the into the meter room. I had two chairs. I had planned like to have had people in like to do like kind of a guest thing, like a host type thing. Uh, or, or guest host, or do an interview type thing. Uh, I had two chairs in there for that, for that reason. My cabinet set up totally. Yeah. So I've got like the air thing because you know it is a basement area, so I make sure it stays good. There's 100 greatest mysteries that you saw me. My Mill Creek thing before I got involved like in Mill Creek. Uh, some of my bigger sets here, uh, Game of Thrones, The Wire. It was a great series. Uh, on my Friday the 13th, that's a. Uh, see if I can actually show you guys that. That's the uh, NECA Jason figure. And my dad, uh, that's up, for, that's downstairs right now. I love that figure, but the kids uh, got it for me. Stargate, hmm. Atlantis, uh, the Dark Knight trilogy. You look down here. I guess I was a fan of Glee. Uh, <laughs> oh. I also got the last set. That's the one where you put the uh, the color of light onto it, and it Black actually light. has messages. That, of course, is the complete Dexter. This is a uh, kind of a bootleg side found at a uh, at a flea market once. It's actually really really hilarious. Uh, we got the uh, the so that's right my there. collection. Thank you, Grant. Uh, you're gonna see. I'm so glad I didn't pay. Got the, oh, the cat. Hey, in the store. You're not knowing me in the videos. Say hi. <laughs> uh, got my ET set. I unfortunately, got all that. she's. That was my kitties from uh, from North Sydney, and she has passed on now. Um, but I love her. I love her so much. I. Uh... Oh gosh, I need a minute. Huh. <sighs> Okay, sorry. Just need a second, guys. Uh, That's the Doctor Who first seven series is there, I think, uh, with the specials. 
Pass, go on. And that's got a, uh, if you know the set, then you know that it has like a uh, sonic screwdriver. When you look up here, you'll see the Texas Chainsaw Master set. The this is a good way to see some of the stuff that got in my collection. Timeless, All the stuff is well, in my collection. Man, I'm very proud of that. As you come down here, you're going to see my collection of Anchor Bays. So we'll just go by that. You my collection of Anchor Bay, well, you'll see like once we go uh, to the to the farm. Like, so I'll have that, that, I, that I really like. You see my traumas around the end of that. Trauma sexy box sets um, right there. Different ones there. Here, like Some Mondo. Mondo. Uh, Severin, Dark Sky. This is the DVD section. And, uh, you know, I just put... And at this point, you know, those getting blue ray was still uh, massively into a lot of DVDs. Case and the, uh, and the, the, the plastic case. I kind of like that movie, so. I'm coming in here. You're going to see, like, more random stuff. But I see some good stuff, too. Uh, my chair, kind of like the chair that upstairs, I, I got to put here. You're going to see I've got the Tour of Duty box set, uh, Complete Series, Red Green. I love Red Green. But it does. That one. It really uh, it, it makes me sad and happy. Sets that I have. Makes me sad because I miss them. All my, uh, but it makes me happy MGMs because it gave me so much. And I just hope uh, my regular MGMs, I got a, I got a few that I gave back not, as you know, much not, to not them as they gave amount, to me. But uh, you know, it's a good it's a good start uh, in the MGM collection. Down beneath that, you're gonna see some Shout Factory that I got. Um, there's like the 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 Cyclone one my dad gave me the. The Roger Corman ones were when I really started collecting seriously again. Uh, you see those? Uh, yeah, this is a proud part of my collection, curves. really. Is. That's uh, that's from uh, Sammy, friend of mine. There's some Elvira there. There's the Haunting Hour, Suck Legacy. I love the document. It's really underrated. Uh, you can see some Blue Underground stuff. It's just my resting collection here. Some resting it's a small collection right there. I actually have the uh, kind of hard to watch now, Hard Knocks, Chris Benoit story. Um, you're going to see this here is all documentaries. Some of my favorites are here. Rewind. This is a favorite of mine. Captain I do Freedom's kind of miss really good documentary. having a setup I where I can do this. Have that one. Going to pieces. I watched that one a lot. Not quite Hollywood. I watch Turtle Power is amazing. Uh, Monster Madness. Uh, East Enders. I'm a big East Enders fan, guys. Uh, I got a lot of history ones. I'm a big history fan, and me and my spouse both are big fans of sharks, so we like the shark documentaries. Um, there's some of the SNL collections I got there. My favorite has to be the uh, the '80s one where they talk because it was a really like tumultuous time for SNL was in the '80s. Uh, as you know, I have some like different stuff. Camp is like a favorite like musical of mine. I'm not allowed to know about. Stocking Moon's a great western. That you like to see, to see more of, like when it comes to uh, this. Would you like to see me do more of these here, like looking back and shoot sometimes to do retrospectives? Do you still view your DVD collection as you did then, or is it now less than? Um, more, maybe. Uh, I, I, I kind of think more. Because as I've been noticing uh, a lot lately, that uh, you know, as streaming becomes more available, and people like start to get rid of their co collections, and they make the... There's a rookie mistake, like uh, especially when it comes to TV series, is right, Gleaming? So don't get rid of stuff uh, when it, like especially TV stuff because TV stuff goes off. Uh, and uh, TV, and and a lot of it doesn't come back. I remember when I first got my very first time getting Netflix, right? One of the very very things I was most excited about was I'm a massive Steve J. Canal fan. And uh, so there's like 21 Jump Street, Booker, you know, PI, all those shows, right? And I was a huge fan of like them. And the day that I signed up for Netflix, the all, all of them are on there. Silk stockings, the works. The next day they're all gone. Oh, they're all gone. Uh, I think they went over to Amazon. But I said, I'm not taking that chance again that I'm going to miss out. Uh, so for me, like TV and DVD is is still a thing. Like I, I get Blu-ray every once in a while when it comes to TV, but I, I do prefer TV and DVD. And I think because I got that like, emotional connection with uh with stuff like the mj midnight's movies thank you so much you didn't have to do that but i 100 appreciate that thank you george
that I, I, I think I appreciate them more. And I truly love the work that uh that they put into this stuff. Stream like DVD is still the the prevalent like uh way to that the people buy films. If you go look every year, year after year, DVD sells most. Uh, and it be, basically it's because like let's be honest, like a lot of people that are buying that are still buying a lot of casual people still buy physical media. People it it gets you know it's kept alive by the collectors by us, but a lot of casual people they go to Walmart, go to a place like that, still buy physical media, and it, it's not an accident that Walmart bought Best Buy stuff. It's not an accident that they started putting steelbook editions in to their, uh, like, in the $5 bin. It's not an accident that Walmart is still starting to do big steelbook editions for a lot of their releases. Uh, I told you guys, like, four months ago, and, I, and I'm saying it now, Walmart is pushed steelbook, man. So you're going to see a lot more of those going around. They're gonna, Walmart is going very savvy with it and stuff. Savvy is a UK company that actually focuses on steelbooks. Let's see a couple, a little bit more of this uh, here video because I do like looking back at some stuff that actually is not here right now. It's actually at the, at the farm. Uh, you know, the uh, Wayne and Schuster. I'm a really big fan of Wayne and Schuster. You see another 7 Eleven didn't fit yeah. up there. I, that's I'm my cool, child, uh, Wayne Schuster. You see some like, different movies down here. Sunny Shiva, like the, I started a Lifetime collection down here. Yeah, it's true. Me, my better have said, you've got to get a Lifetime collection because they're just such um, easy like bit, films like. Exactly. That you can eventually There's do look stuff at those two shelves. This chair right here, uh, our cat, uh, Smokey, when we lived in St. John, she was loved this chair. She was a dick. She, there was a ton of scratch marks uh, on the chair. So we initially that we're going to get rid of the chair. We never got rid of the chair, uh, but her parents said, you know, bring it back to Marco. We'll, you know, they can use it. And the, I, I think the, uh, I think this is the chair because they did for a couple of the chairs, they got reupholstered. There we go. See the red green set up there. Going over here. Women can't find you a handsome. They might as well find you handy. Like the other Scooby set. Robotech. There's, uh, my Transformers, my Beast Wars. Love those shows. I'm a big Power Rangers fan, like my son, and I've got the two, the first two sets. I need the other two. Uh, GI, Powerpuff Girls. I mean, now I have all the guy, Power Ranger sets. Uh, so the Saint. Rest in peace, Roger Moore. I love that show. There you go, Malcolm. Malcolm, if you're watching this, there it is. There's a network Saint edition that you want to. <laughs> Followed by the Persuaders, the Protectors, the Complete Series of Magnum, Complete of Remington Steel. Here's a few of my, uh, my Disney collection here. I'm a really big fan of the new Mickey Mouse series that came out. I really like that one. She-Ra, like Volumes 1 and 2. I need to get more of that. I still don't have more of that. I only got Volume 2 of Space Sentinels. I now have all Thundercats. Thundercats. I didn't have all of it. I need two more volumes of that. Uh, actually, my good friend Sammy's got the, the Thundercats so far. Although... There's a there we got stop this for Alan, the Lone Ranger set. The what I think this is the one that like got Alan to my channel was the unboxing of the Lone Ranger set. It is such a gorgeous set too. The very first thing that I bought, uh, like box that I bought in uh, when I got to uh, St. John's when I started to recollect again. Centric video when I actually received us, uh, which will be there went down the road because he's busy at work doing stuff with his channel, which you should watch. Uh, Arthur Haley's Hotel, the complete series, you know. Uh, the Equalizer was a favorite of mine. Lone Ranger was one of the first ones I bought when I got to St. John's, and now I'm here, here I am in Nova Scotia. So Miami Vice, Dallas, you know, shows that I really liked. In the, I've Dallas now finished my Dallas collection. Series, too, which I actually found cool. Um, let's see if I can sit down here. So there's, uh, I don't have Rocker and Bullwinkle complete yet. I do have the Three's so Company, the first three series of the in between. What's the whole series of in-betweeners? Uh, hey, all and welcome, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Brown's buys extras. You know, we can see them there. Got a red green, man. That's the original. Uh, the, the OG TNG sets. That's a good old movie cave. I don't have all those now. Let's make more videos. I really like. But I, I got them videos. on a uh, on Blu-ray. Um, I'm on five. Those are three Musketeers complete series. Angel, Buffy. Everybody has to have that. Supernatural. I still only got up season eight. Supernatural. Actually, that was really good. Uh, Tales Unexpected. I love. I only got the first season of that. Uh, you're gonna see a lot like about animation and a lot of like uh there's like uh some of the uh french stuff and some of the canadian stuff this is a really good way to see like uh, there's the uh, what i'm into because this is a really good perimeter uh, to some of the stuff that i uh that i still like love to this very very day underrated. um there's the beauty complete series for two seasons dive up a bit for those uh, X-Men well. right there. X-Men just came out again. Like the new series. Yeah, amazing, by the way. I'm going to do a review on that. Six. A 
for Dragon Ball Z. I need the complete series of Dragon Ball. But we got GT, which actually hints a big fan of. Um, that's a complete Saturday morning cartoons set. There's a lot of, you're going to see a lot of Hanna-Barbera here. I love Hanna-Barbera. I really do. Looney Tunes Gold Collection. I really recommend those. I think don't just get the Platinums, get the, you know, get the Platinum Blu-ray ones, get the Gold Collection as well. And now there's the Warner ones. Uh, that are, if you look oh, at the Enchantment, they're not really labeled. The last time you guys them. saw these here, if you're watching the video, an earthquake happened. Like here, the a massive, Morocco's biggest earthquake happened. Treasures collection, uh, which you got to experience live, live on my video. An extra one. Oh, you're there. Any treasures? That's like a, just a tin one. That's a couple of their things of like Doug's first movie, Ducktales the movie. Because I'm a really, really big Ducktales fan. I'm not quite sure in the animation for the new Ducktales. I like the fact that it's fluid, but I'm not quite sure if I like the way that it's done. We'll look up here a little bit farther. We can see like my Bond set, my Batman original series set, uh, my Batman animated series, Batman Beyond, my Robotech set. As you can uh, see, there's a turtle series, uh, Wild Wild West. So, big fan of their stuff. You found a lot of rare. So, stuff. this here, see this here, Milk Tree Collection. Stuff as well. For those that ever wondered, season two, three, and season four. Here you see my Milk Creek. I got a lot of Milk Creek. I'm a, I was watching and buying Milk Creek stuff long before, like, I ever started like working or doing any reviews. For Mill Creek. So anytime anybody asks me, like, oh, do you like Mill Creek stuff? Like, because Mill Creek sends you stuff or because uh, uh, stuff like that. There's your answer right there. Big fan of their stuff. You found a lot of rare stuff there. And you're going to see some other stuff as well. So see a redo of this like, video. Uh, it's hard because everything's like uh, so, so splintered right now. Here that you want me to like talk about more or like go into more, look at more. Uh, you see, I, I kind of like that, you know. Big fan some stuff. Universe like Monsters so. <clears throat> and the rooms right next to it because of course who doesn't uh, you gotta have the room right you know blow you see things like the crawling eyes here in the haunted house I love that type of stuff I uh, desperately have the uh Superman set tin set I love lots of dark the dark shadow set is actually a bootleg set which we didn't know about him I better have paid detail regular thinking it was a real original Dark Shadow set. We only found out later that it wasn't. And for, I think, about going on like a year and a half to two years, I let her know because I was worried that, one, that was going to break her heart because she spent so much time and money look, get it, trying to get that for me. Ironically, I've seen the original set. It, it looks very similar, and uh, it plays amazing. Uh, years later, it still works really well. I was like, no, that one is uh is not the original original set. This one I think is more of like a kind of like a bootleg set. We didn't realize goes. it at the time, but uh, luckily it was a very high quality bootleg, and but it's work amazing. So we lucked out there. And uh, yeah, even we, the man, the book, I'm proud of. I watched um, a, a lot of that set actually. Uh, Bells for Galactica, X Files, X Files, set there alongside a man from Uncle. If you look down around here, you're going to see like my film noir collections. See my Charlie Chan's um, there, by the way, I guess. Sets, you know, a lot of, some of my TCM stuff you can see right there, and my pre. You know, I like I like the TCM archive stuff, like the Forbidden Hollywood. I'll, now, I'll once I set everything stuff. up, and um, there's uh, my Charlie Chan. Oh, right at the farm, I will do yeah, a, a redo of, of the video where you can see a lot of the GB stuff, and then I'll yeah, and I'll intersplice it with stuff that's over here, stuff that's here, and we'll kind of do that. So there will be an updated one. Big carry on fan, if you can tell. So, here you're gonna see like more, a lot more TV stuff. I'm not gonna go into everything, like, uh, you can see my Doc Food collection there as well. Like, you know, not hard to see that. Uh, a lot of different stuff you guys can see. Charlie Chaplin uh, stuff from MK2, which is from Paris, by the way. I've got a modest Christian my... collection as opposed to like Dean the DVD or something like that. But, uh, good old Dean DVD and Charlie... Cinema Day, they have the the best um, like, collection. collections of Criterion. Same day, man, is an amazing collection. Uh, that, you see Dr. Who and some other stuff like that. Um, you look up there, you're going to see stuff like my Blind Dead, my Hammer set. I really love this set here. Uh, you know, you can see most of my Criterion stuff up here as well. Here is I watch so many set. different times, man. Uh, now, here we're going to see, you guys are going to love this. I'm sure George going to love this. This is where we hit into some of my Arrow releases when I started buying Arrow. 
Eurekas. So we saw my Eurekas, all all small BFIs here. My arrow collection starts here and goes on along. Here goes into the DVDs, steel books, and I'll move back a bit. Ah, At that point, I was buying go. more Arrow, like like oh, single editions, as opposed to like the limited editions. You can see my like my Screen Factories. I was really in Screen Factory. Factory then. Collection. Can you tell? <laughs> I did got to gritty. <laughs> I like that. Uh, factories in there too. DVD collecting is underrated. Man. There's like a I never turned on a good DVD. Collection is there. And my Olive films, my Blue Underground, my Code Reds. Beneath it, you're going to notice that my Kinos are there. I got a quite a few Kinos. See my Tintin Tin collections there. I love that. The way it come three together. Draft, uh, draft houses there. This is my uh, small but modest vinegar syndrome collection. It's hopefully going to grow in the next Can you while. See, like, look how small my vinegar. That was my vinegar cinnamon collection back then. You guys know how my vinegar cinnamon collection is now. Can you? And there was a time on my vinegar cinnamon collection. Was that my shameless one? Yeah, right. Well, my was that tiny. Um, this is the twilight time ones I got. Uh, as you can see, so there's some seven there. There's some. Uh, I think we're about to get to shameless. Uh, there's, some, there's the. Uh, I'm going back. Ones I've gotten so far. See my 80. For those who don't know, like Shameless, when they first put stuff out, they did like interconnecting kind of a logo mural. And uh, I didn't have them all, but I had a lot of them enough to for the Shameless to show in the logo. And I've always been like really proud of having that. Shameless collection. There's a washing machine one that uh, Alan mentioned right there for next uh, to 10th victim. Along here, you can see my 80 films. Because my slasher classics, I was the really big on those. And, oh, zoom in a bit on those. You can see those as my slasher collection right there. So I just go over it. You can see this right now. And when you come around, you'll see. I mean, remember what's on the shelf right there. Go all along here. You go along to here and to here. To right here. So it's just a quick overview of my uh, collection and the. Uh, I'll be doing like uh like specific uh like John like area reviews and like area specific reviews on specific companies who I'm looking for. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a lot hard to Even do. Even that man words hard. <laughs> words hard. Hey there, so that is my media library. I'm gonna be doing a video upcoming soon. To Notice in the background there's my I still have these uh bookmarks. Well, book guy book ends. Uh it's from the uh Mortal Kombat like uh game. I wish I still had that record player. Hey, Fallon, thank you so much, man. Gotcha. Thank you, George. I really appreciate that. Are steelbooks worth the price? I think they are. For me, they are. But it depends. Uh, it depends on if you like the movie, Fallon. Uh, Right now, I would say look towards uh, if you're if you're in the United States, uh, look towards your local Walmart. There's going to be like five dollar like four K steel books stuff coming out really soon. Uh, like in the in the in the Walmart dump ins. If you're in the Canada, you're probably eight or ten dollars, but still amazing stuff. Four K stuff and and Blu-ray stuff. Uh, but they, they're going to be putting a big push towards it. So it all depends on what you on what you like. So if you enjoyed this type of video, then this is something we can go back on and do, and again more of in the in the future. We can look back at some of my order videos. We can look back at some of my collection videos. We can look back at things because uh, I will be as soon as the we do this, the, you know, the this room set up on the farm and we get some more like here. I will be doing a modern day version of that. So you'll be seeing the Moroccan edition of what you what you saw saw there. Yes, with much more sun and cats around. Since then, my cat is gone. So, though. Morning, Warlock. From the 
I guess we got to do this right. Got to do the shield thing one last time. You want to donate? Feel free to donate for the for, to the coffee. The coffee, but here from me. Overall, have a good time. That's that's, that's the main thing, main thing here. From the, you know, Call to Center International. To that horror guy. To movies on the rock. To just plan on me. I will try I can if I can to do another live before I go, but tomorrow is our last day to get things ready before the trip. Um, for those that have actually did like like that that came out and like our, the patron members, thank you so much. You keep the do you keep if without patron members, I wouldn't have, be doing these live streams because the patron pays for streamer. Um, I'll, I want to thank the the generous donations from George, from Malcolm, from uh, all the people that, that donated out there. Uh, I, I really, truly appreciate it. You guys are incredible. Is Dune collection from DVD risk? Uh, uh, I don't think it is region free. I don't know. I'd have to check into it. I'll, I'll know from my next video. But for some of you guys, and thanks to George and Malcolm, uh, uh, there will be some video because I put. You will be seeing some really cool uh, fingers crossed, right? Paris unboxings in the very near future with some good horror and other releases of stuff that uh, you would not see otherwise and you would not see anywhere else, at least um, in an English speaking channel. But my name is Aaron. I want to thank you so much for coming in. Have a wonderful day. Uh, in a few days, I'm 53. I have seven cats. I'm lucky enough to live with uh, with a wonderful woman here in Morocco uh, with a collection that I'm very happy about. Comic or manga video? I would love to do that too. Um, but everybody have a wonderful day. And uh, I'll see you next time. Because, uh... oh, thank you so much, man. But mwah. name on my cats quickly. Okay. Uh, Lordy was first. After Lordy, we got Goose. Goose left flirting. Uh, after Goose came Petunia. After Petunia, the came Ollie. After Ollie, uh, we were getting Stubby. Stubby got hit by a motorcycle. And uh, we took her into the vet. And, she had to be, and he had to be into the vet for about uh, three weeks to recover. Uh, in, in the meantime... This little black cat used to come, keep coming to our door. Uh, so we, we got her. Her name was Bandit. Um, and our seventh and our most recent cat uh, is another little black cat. And I think she is the actual sister of Bandit. And that cat's name is Pixie Oreo. And with that, guys, I will see you next time right here in the Call to Cinema. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening, a wonderful weekend. And enjoy the rest of your. March. See you later, guys, and uh, thank you so much.